my name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. I got home and within about five or ten minutes later the guy upstairs was indoors with his stomping on the ceiling, his, his big feet on the ceiling. I told you I came home in a taxi and we were passing cars like his old car with that number plate on that I'll never forget and um, I'm a woman I'm a female so about 15 minutes ago I normally go out about 10 7 o'clock 10 to 7 7 o'clock in the evening take Max out for his evening walk there was a ring to my buzzer number five um, and it was the delivery guy I, um, I think I don't know which <laughs> is it Yodel I think this was a package from Yodel not sure so I'm from an eBay seller from Knapswood Lodge Pangbourne Road Upper Basildon um, I ordered what I thought was a jelly cat you know, jelly cats are collectible soft toys and they're worth money. And I've got um, three or four of them, jelly cats. Now this is what a real jelly cat looks like. So don't be conned like myself. This is a real jelly cat, right? And they have a label with jelly cat on them, jelly cat London. I ordered what I thought was a real jelly cat from eBay. There is absolutely no label on it at all. There's no label. There's no jelly cat label and it's far too big. And it's not like a jelly cat at all. It's a dupe. I'm going to keep it. I'm not returning it, but don't get conned. The past three jelly cats I've had have been absolutely perfect. They've been packaged perfect in bubble wrap and they're quite fragile. This is a fake. It's a dupe. I paid £10 for it. It's not a real jelly, jelly cat. It's not a real jelly cat at all. So I've been conned on eBay. I will keep it and I will get the real toast jelly cat from, I'll order it from a shop online that actually sell real jelly cats. But I've been conned. So the delivery guy rings my buzzer, number five, I'm Crystal and I'm female. And he goes, Crystal, Crystal lady, not lying, <laughs> rings my buzzer. Crystal, crystal lady, foreign guy, and I can't find my keys, right, so I expect the guy to like leave it in a safe place, jelly cat's supposed to be valuable, funnily enough this isn't a jelly cat so it's not valuable anyway, he only stuffed it, stuffed it, broke the packaging into my post box, he stuffed it in the post box. He couldn't wait for me to come down the stairs, so he stuffed it in the post box. There was a hole in the package where he tried to stuff it. I've already had a locksmith out to fix that lock because delivery guys keep putting things in my post box and breaking the lock on it. They won't fix it again. They shouldn't do that. Stuff large packages into a post box. Wait, leave it on the floor. What did you do that for? Crystal lady, crystal lady. Yeah, I am a woman. Absolutely ridiculous. Sticking a parcel into a small, a small... A small slit in a post box. If that was a, jet, a real jelly cat, he would have bust it. So, guys, be wary of 
fake jelly cats. They're made to look like real jelly cat uh, soft toys, but they ain't. They're fakes, they're dupes. Sainsbury's did a few of them, but they, they were dupes and you could see they were copies of jelly cats. But I ordered what I thought was a real jelly cat and I've got a fake. It's too big to be a jelly cat. It's not the same. It's not the same. You can tell a jelly cat what they look like. It's far, its legs are far too thick and big to be a jelly cat. I've been conned. <laughs> But I will get my toast. I will get my toasty jelly cat and I'll show you what a dupe is and what a real jelly cat looks like. Of the toast variety. Uh, when I have got money available in my bank account to get one. But I've been conned again. Okay. take max out guys in the dark by myself and i'm a female crystal lady what would you call a bloke then crystal gentleman <laughs> one knob Absolutely. Oh, oh, my, let's get treated in my fucking property. Absolutely despicable. Don't take the piss out of me because I'll take offence to that. Why do you need to go crystal lady for? Anyway, guys, I've, I've catalogued my whole day from start to really nearly finish <laughs> and I'm certainly not a bloke and I handle things by myself even dangerous situations or by myself <laughs> I said just stuff my parcel and break it in the post box you stupid dick <laughs> And it's my mum that was a bit aggressive. It certainly wasn't me making out on my mum and running out of the building. <laughs> I couldn't even wait to give me the parcel, just like stuff it in the letterbox and break it. I'm not cross, I'm just disgusted. If I'd known he was going to do that, I would have showed you by camera what he'd done. I would have showed you how he'd stuffed it in the post box and damaged the parcel. <sighs> Someone ran in with a dog. No, I'm dangerous, look. It was my, my mum that was shouting. Quiet, Max. Good boy. Good boy, good boy. I'm gonna go this way, down here. Cross here, behave yourself, Max. He's a good boy, good boy. He's just coughed, uh, I don't know who that was. Some bloke coughed, uh, after that delivery guy said crystal lady to my buzzer. <laughs> <coughs> It's just like a comedy show. I've been around my mum's most of the day. I haven't been around here. You see, you see? I'm not angry. I mean, would you like your parcel stuffed into a 
a post box and it got broken. So he, came, he rings my, my bus so he goes, Crystal Lady, and then I come out. This is what it's like when I come out. Side. I'm not cross, I just tape it. I've got a pelvic scan on Friday. And they don't do a pelvic scan on a man for menopausal symptoms, do they? And he didn't ring the guy's buzzer upstairs, he rang mine. Honestly, I don't want that. So that's where the guy with the dash hound lives. Somebody went, uh. <coughs> I haven't got a dash hound, it's a chihuahua. <laughs> nice because I speak the truth. And if you speak about a certain someone, they don't like it, but they can say things about you. It's all right for them to talk about you, but you criticise them and that's it. <laughs> and I will continue to fight for justice, fight for a cause, and I am a woman. <laughs> See? So I went downstairs to get my parcel. The guy had run off and stuffed my parcel into my letterbox. <laughs> And they play act like little children. Actors and actresses. Play acting, it's like virtual reality. How are you supposed to get a boyfriend when they just act like that? Do you know what I mean? All my dates were the same. Fake, fake dates. They used to come into my flat at Lansdowne Court, treat me like utter shite, do what they needed to do and then leave me. And they weren't doing that to my mum either, or a man. No, I'm not cross and angry, I'm tired. I've, I've got an elderly mum who obviously needs help and support. And she's not getting help and support. I'm tired. And I'm getting this. It's all just done to make you cross, look. Nearly. <laughs> I'm not cross. He's damaged the plastic packaging. He hasn't damaged the soft toy. But that is a fake jelly cat. I paid £10 for that. It's worth about £2.50. He ripped off. Con artists. So just pick the camera picks up the noises they're making. I haven't been able to write the diary for two days because I've been extremely busy. I haven't written it. I've had to catalogue it on video. I haven't actually written in it. Taxi driver, wonderful lady, very polite, very nice. He comes home upstairs and I get bullied again. Again.
It's always the evening walk as well. It's always in the evening. I'm glad I went out to my mum's because if I'd been stuck indoors all day, he'd come in upstairs clobbering his feet on the ceiling. I probably would have got upset. I went out to my mum's and although it was hard work, at least I got out of the flat. I have nearly got 30,000 likes on TikTok. My YouTube channel is growing. I will not stop. I will not give up. But I am not a fucking man. <laughs> I'm a woman. See, see, see. Crystal Lady. Didn't say Crystal Marshall. He went, Crystal Lady, Crystal Lady, and then he ran off. <laughs> and the takeaway guy went round, and my mum answered the door, by the way, my mother. <coughs> Sorry guys, I mean what, what can I do, My every day is the same, he comes in, I get bullied, <laughs> and believe you me, if I, you know, if I'd have had, what was it she wanted? She wanted like a hundred and something pounds deposit. And then she said I'd have to pay two rents or something to get out of where I am. Nikki. That's impossible. So I'm stuck. Stuck. There's a property in Chatham. And they wanted the money like right now. And I said I haven't got it. I can't do that. I have not got like 150 quid right now. Normally they give you an amount of time like to move in from your old property to your new one. That's just not fair. It wasn't fair. She said to me, the property's got six steps up to it. Is that okay for you, Crystal? And then she said, um, we want you to view the property this week and I've got a scan appointment. They wouldn't budge. And she said, we'd want you to move in like next Monday. You've got removal costs. You've got to move property from one place to the other. So I would, she said, and the council won't pay... Uh, they won't pay your rent for two properties. That's what she said. So she said you'll have to, you'll end up paying for two properties. I can't do that. So, so I can't do that. Can't do it. So that, I was talking about my dad's Toyota Starlet. Little red car there. I suppose my dad's going to run me over, is he? Right to my face. You see that? Do you see that? Car twist and turn right near me. <laughs> right on the camera. <laughs> of 
car like my... I was talking about that inside the flat. My dad's Toyota Starlet. What are they afraid of? Sounds like gunshots being fired. Oh no, it's an Asda lorry. I've been up to my mum's. She's given me some money. I haven't been indoors all day. But can you imagine what it would have been like? He coming in, stamping on the ceiling. And I've been in all doors all day with nothing. And then they offer me a property that I can... It's just impossible because they wanted, uh, like, 200 quid. <laughs> but I told my mum about it and she got it off my chest. I told her what MHS Homes did. Honestly, they phoned me up Tuesday. They wanted me to view the property this week. They wanted the deposit this week. And then they wanted me to move in next Monday. What the fuck? <laughs> and they know I'm disabled. They know that. Of course I had to turn it down. <laughs> I was in Chatham in the Luton area. I don't think I want to live in that area anyway, to be fair. <laughs> Bungalow. Made it so difficult for me to move into that. Or to try and get an angry reaction out of me. Because my mum said all the neighbours reported her to the nut house. Not me. <laughs> Trying to get me cross, look. <laughs> They're all running away from me like I'm some kind of uh, criminal. This is where I frequently smell cannabis, guys. I smelt cannabis along here last night. <laughs> so they're going to try that, are they? Pretend I'm Jennifer and, and make out I'm mad and stick me in a mental hospital. I don't think so. <laughs> Tried everything else. I've almost died of starvation. I've been homeless, and now you want to try that, do you? Well, I've got evidence that's not me. <laughs> Being absolutely nasty, shoving my post in a post box and breaking it just to get me angry. Oops, let's get out of here quick. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fucking hell. About to come out the back. It's a neighbour with that fucking maniac dog. It's come out at the same time again. Different time, same time. She's stalking me or something. Come out a different time and he's still doing it. Bloody hell. 